DNA is the genetic material of all organism. When DNA is transmitted from parent to children, it can determine some of the children's characteristics, such as their eye color or hair color. How did the sequence of nucleotides adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine in the DNA molecule determines the color of their eyes, hair and other features? DNA is divided into functional unit called genes. Each gene provides instructions for a functional product, called protein. Eye color gene, provides instructions for a protein that helps make colored pigment in eye. The journey from gene to protein is complex. It consists of two major steps, transcription and translation. During the process of transcription, the information stored in a gene's DNA is passed to a similar molecule called messenger RNA. Translation involves decoding a messenger RNA and using its information to build a polypeptide, chain of amino acids. Now, what is RNA? RNA is chemically similar to DNA, except that it contains ribose as its sugar whereas DNA have deoxyribose sugar. RNA substitutes the nitrogenous base uracil for thymine. RNA is always consists of a single-stranded molecule whereas DNA are double-stranded molecule. Now, learned about the procedure from gene to protein, that is transcription and translation in detail. At the beginning of the gene, a sequences of DNA called promoter where RNA polymerase binds. Once bound, RNA polymerase separates the DNA strands, providing the single-stranded template needed for transcription. The enzyme can read the bases in one of the DNA strands and make a strand of mRNA with a complementary sequence of bases. Elongation is the addition of nucleotides to the messenger RNA strand, making a chain that grows from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. Sequences of DNA, called terminators, signals that the RNA transcript is complete. Once they are transcribed, RNA polymerase detached from DNA and messenger RNA are released. The new messenger RNA is not yet ready for translation. At this stage, it is called pre-messenger RNA, and it must go through more processing. The processing may include splicing, editing, and polyadenylation. In messenger RNA, coding regions are known as exons and non-coding region are known as introns. Non-coding regions introns should be removed, this process is known as splicing. This process are occurring by RNA protein complex known as spliceosome, which removes the intron segments and joins the adjacent exons. 5' prime cap is added to the beginning of the RNA transcript, and a 3' prime poly a tail is added to the end. Mature messenger RNA can leave the nucleus through nuclear pore and enters the cytoplasm to begin translation. 3 nitrogenous bases are grouped into codons. The genetic code includes 64 codons. Codons are specific for amino acid. There are some special codons, one that codes for start and other code for stop. Translation begins, when small ribosomal subunit binds at start codon in messenger RNA. In transfer RNA complementary base pairs are known as anticodon which determines the specific type of amino acid. Anticodons in transfer RNA binds with codons in messenger RNA. When transfer RNA molecule binds with the start codon, then large ribosomal subunit binds to form translational complex. In the large ribosomal subunit, there are three distinct regions called E, P, and A sites. Initiating transfer RNA binds at P site. New transfer RNA binds at A site. A peptide bonds occur between amino acids. The complex slide down one codon to the right where the uncharged transfer RNA molecule exit from E site and A site is opened to accept the next transfer RNA molecule. Elongation will continue, until a stop codon is reached. Stop codon signals the release factor binds to the, A site. The polypeptide chain are released from the transfer RNA. The entire complex dissociates and can reassemble to begin the another process again. The polypeptides need to be modified and folding into complex structure before is ready to function.